We're, We're the Dream Boats, a retro-inspired rock and roll band from Mississauga, Canada. In 2022, we had the crazy idea of packing up our lives and moving the band to sunny Palm Springs, California, a town where people eat, sleep, and breathe retro. Cut to now, we're all living together in one house out in the desert, spending most of our days hatching plans to take our band to new heights. We deal with a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but that's show business, right? We're more than a band, we're brothers, and we're determined to keep pushing forward with the same mentality that we had when we started this band way back when. And no matter who we meet, where we play, and what we do, we always remember Number rule number one, keep it dreamy. So I guess we went back right before Christmas and we missed the garbage day, recycling day right before Christmas. And then we got back. I don't know if we missed another one or what happened there, but uh, as you can see, we started to develop somewhat of a garbage mountain status here in Desert Hot Springs. I mean, it's not too different from a bunch of houses in the neighborhood, but uh, there's more furniture and things like that. This is just straight up, uh, what do we got? Sparkling water, a lot of yogurt containers, pr protein, uh, protein milks and uh, beer. That I'll be guilty for that one, but yeah. Hopefully this week. <laughs> So Demetrius is a hometown guy from Mississauga like us. He's very well respected in the music community at home. He does grant writing. He hosts the Mississauga Music Awards. So it's so great to have him on board with us. Really for musicians oh. like us. Yes. Yeah, I was at the airport like at, like at six, right? I woke up at five and I was there at six. So. I don't know, serious. So when Demetrius first got down here, the first order of business was for him to take us all aside individually and talk to us all in private and kind of assess what our goals were for the upcoming year. Honestly, um, I got from all of you exactly what I was hoping to get. Um, just, uh, just unfiltered stuff that maybe all of you wouldn't say it when you were all in the same room, but uh, it just helps me understand the band as a whole, individually, um, which will help me do my job better, I think. The next day after this meeting with Demetrius, Demetrius and Richie had to go to this bookers conference uh, to hopefully get us some new gig bookings, which I think is going to go really well. So I believe we're going to Diamond Bar tomorrow, which is about an hour, a little bit over an hour away from where we're at right now. We got to leave here for 6 a.m., get there for 7 a.m., start setting up. So we're hoping that we could coax a bunch of city buyers into getting us gigs. We're just going to give them free merch. That's our plan. Demetrius, what are you thinking? Was it a good turnout? You gonna have oh, your work yeah. cut out for you? I have my work cut out for me, but you guys have your work cut out for you after I do all the books. <laughs> yeah. After you do all the work, the work That's never right. ends. If you got booked by a quarter of the people we were talking today, it'd be definitely a success. It's kind of hard to do it because you're pitching to these people within like a 20 second kind of thing as quickly as you can. And you gotta like try to make yourself look as cool as you can within 20 seconds. Not an easy thing, especially when they're walking through this gauntlet and you know that you don't want to take up too much of their time. But other than that, I think it was a success. And uh, it's five minutes before this whole thing closes down and people are going to wrap it up right now, but I don't want to wrap up yet. I want to make sure you're to a bigger, bigger end. <sighs> I want to, um, at least for the year, just put together a rough skeleton of, hey, here's some goals to hit in January, in February, so I can start doing this in March. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and I'll put that on a Google Doc where I'll have access to it. What I really liked about the whole situation was him taking care of the correspondence moving forward and dealing uh, as a representation. We spoke mainly of writing new music, getting grants, releasing our new EP, the EP is something we're really excited about. Justin has been recording and producing the whole EP. And Justin's like such a resourceful guy. I can't explain it, but he just makes things happen. 
I'm sitting in my room one day. He comes in, he's like, Johnny, I need a hand with something. I'm like, okay. So he takes me outside. We're walking down the street and we go to this neighbor's house and there's a piano sitting at the top of the driveway. And he's like, we're taking this piano. They're getting rid of it. We're hauling it down the road. I'm like, how are we going to do it? So the neighbor, this really nice gentleman comes out and he's got this dolly and we lift this thing up on the dolly and we're just pushing it down the street, get it into our house. We lift it in and then here's this new piano. And then Justin immediately he goes to grab his mics, mics up the piano, lays down the piano for the track, and we now have this piano in our living room. Okay, we're headed to an event right now. Um, an event for a new studio that's opening in Cathedral City, which is right near here. Uh, Jay Naylor is one of the investors. He is the agent for Shag, the artist who did uh, a portrait of us a couple of years ago. It was an honor. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's not every night that the whole gang gets to roll out and, you know, uh, have an evening. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's great. You guys. Hold on a minute. Okay, Teletronics. That's the original UA. I had like mock versions of all these things. These are like the legit ones. I had ones by made by a company called Warm. It's like kind of like more mastering stuff, I'm assuming, or unless it's just reel to reel. But some of the old tape stuff at the end, what people will do is just run the whole mix through it so it gets that, that tape sound on it. Ah, so it's like, like treated. So it doesn't, there's no reflection. But the minimal should be inside. And they just have to expose it. Yeah, I know they're making a video about their, about their whole Yeah, we whole document encounter. everything. Hold on, you guys, let me see. young men around Hold cherry on. vanilla. <laughs> Imported, imported from Canada. Come here. Hold on, this is the reaction. Don't <laughs> do it. It's, it's perfumey. It's like I walked into a New York penthouse in 1986. It's not bad. Girls, <laughs> the gum for you. Perfume. So Justin's going to be going back to Canada for two weeks. Uh, he has some recording stuff that he's doing with some other bands. But that kind of leads to something a little more deeper, I guess you could say, is that when Justin comes back from these two weeks, he'll be playing what may be his final shows with us. The initial plan was for the Dreamboats to go back to Canada for the whole summer. But after much deliberation, Richie and I thought that it was best that the band stay down here as much as possible. Justin, rightfully so, still had to go back to Canada in the summer. He will be packing up all of his stuff down here and going back home after finishing his final gigs with us. So with Justin gone for two weeks, I'm mostly excited about finally recording our video for Lights Down Low uh, off our last EP. It's been a long time coming. Well, we're to a very racy scene with a friend of ours who is an absolute pro, and I'm thankful that she is jumping on board this project and getting this song going with us. What can I say about Tina Turntables? She's so professional in every way. I remember showing her the clips uh, of the first ideas of the concept, and she immediately sent back a video of her with like a silhouette dancing in the back and pretty much gave me an idea of what she would look like on the video. She's amazing, she's so professional. I think she carried me through that whole video, <laughs> to be honest. I'm getting ready. I'm gonna throw these feathers. I'm gonna throw these feathers. I'm really happy that, that Tina jumped on board and she was just so willing to kind of like hear the ideas. It was just an absolute pleasure working with Tina Turntables. These gibberish like lines, but there's cool melodies in here. 
So a friend of ours named Leanne recently connected us with a friend of hers who works in the artificial intelligence augmented reality space, a guy by the name of Lucas Risotto. So unfortunately, most of the Beatles are dead. But what if we could keep their careers going through artificial intelligence? For the past two years, I've been training an AI on the entire Beatles discography, also I could generate a thousand new original Beatles songs that I could listen to for the rest of my life. And while most of my songs were pretty bad at the beginning, as the months went by, it started to sound pretty good. And fast forward two years, and not only I had created a thousand new Beatles songs, but I had an AI that could make songs from any part of the band's career. And yes, all the songs of this TikTok are AI generated. So Lucas has this whole database of Beatles AI ideas, and Leanne, who works at Meta, thought it would be a cool way to collab with Lucas and finish one of these Beatles ideas. We used artificial intelligence to also develop the lyrics for the song as well. So we took the melody that Lucas had, we generated these lyrics, and we sat down in the kitchen and just recorded a demo. I'm falling in love with a modern girl She's falling in love with the modern world. Hey! Well, she popped up on my street, a right swipe from a tree. We talked all night, we talked all night. We're going to AR House in Hollywood Hills. We're going to meet, uh, meet Lucas Risotto, who is probably one of the more legendary personalities that are currently on the XR uh, scene right now. And he's just really experimental. There's a lot of stuff going on at AR House, at least from my perspective, where he's bringing in cohorts of folks to come and experiment with AR, mixed reality, just whatever is emerging and letting their all like all their imagination kind of run wild and, and they give a, a he's got a really great forum for that so yeah it's it's pretty epic where we're going so you'll see, you'll see when you get up there <laughs> well done okay What is your whole kind of goal for this space? Yeah. What's the full vision? I know it seems like it's a lot of people, like many people coming together and just being free to be like kind of creative. Is that yeah, just, the premise? Just create like an environment of like excitement, um, getting all of the, the coolest builders building cool shit with things that I know and things that I have no idea exist. Yeah. And just, yeah, congregating all of them in one space. But you don't even need to be a live band. We talk about this all the time. It's like, I want to start, I have this idea for a band. I'm like, I don't even need to play a show. You should be a TikTok band. But I love the stage though. Oh yeah, that's, we're, that's we're the stage like, performers like, through, I'm through. Not, it's like, like, that's my, that's, I live for a thing, you know? I can't, yeah. can't help it, you know? But I mean, we find a way to translate it. Oh, well, I'm I mean, that you can I'm find a way to get that and then be able to play to that big crowd online sure. in real life. That's like the goal of me, like eventually, yeah. hopefully, you know what I mean? Like, I would create robotic heads of all the Beatles members, kind of like Daft Punk, but like metal Terminator Beatles faces. <laughs> that okay. Put on a suit. The red eyes? Yeah, put on a suit and go on stage. Okay. Cy okay. I'm just spitballing. You guys are actually like, I've been doing this for a long time. So to me, like, Diddy of Josiah is just fucking around to that level. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you have a choice. You can literally take a picture of yourself and it guesses an avatar. And then you can go and modify like tweak it. it. Yeah. And you're like, well, actually, this is my nose shape. There it is. Let me unmute it. Space. Let's go ahead and walk around and see what we got going on here. 
Ah, oh, look at that. I love these lights. And I love, uh, I love wherever. And then if I was going to make a story with it on Instagram or, yeah, you know, dumped, yeah. so I just go in here, go to story. And I'm like, great. That's my story. Let me grab my music. So I just oh, go up to the top here. I grab the music and I'm like, all right, this is my song. Cool. But now you're like, I didn't animate this. I didn't have to put on a motion capture suit. You don't have to put anything on. You could have been naked doing that. Yeah, I've been naked. <laughs> <laughs> At least topless. It was pretty yeah. mind blowing sitting in that room and hearing everyone riff uh, about, you know, the future of AI and where that's going. You know, Lucas and, and Don Allen, the way they were just explaining certain things that were exciting, scary, creative all at the same time. And it just puts us in check and just realizing that we got to kind of stay on top of things right now and feel like, you know, this retro inspired band is kind of moving forward into this new age. And uh, I'm all about it, man. I want to, I want to see where this whole road can take us right now. All right, what's going on today? Real quick. Slight bit of chaos. Okay, so the guys are over at the Camelot Theater. We got a call last night that Gary Gann uh, had a heart attack and he was going into surgery. So that kind of changed all of their plans for the Trini Lopez show that they're doing at the Camelot Theater today. And get the call last night that he had a heart attack. We're like, okay, so the show is clearly canceled. And they're like, no, we sold 150 tickets. And we're like, okay, so we figured Gary's wife, uh, Joan, who plays keys and bass, was gonna be playing the show with us and then this morning at 8 a.m. We found out Joan is not playing the gig, understandably, because she's probably with Gary, her husband, in the hospital undergoing surgery. So we're like, okay, so it's just me and Chris doing this gig. And then we're like, okay, Justin, you gotta play it. And now we're gonna pick up Andy, get him in the car, and then drive right there. And then we have half an hour to get Andy set up. No rehearsal, really, maybe dressing room. Yeah, that's it. Andy coming through. I'll let him know where we're gonna film. Okay. Let's do it. Woo! What's up, everybody? What up, buddy? I made it. Coming, coming from LA, man. How you guys doing? Oh, you know, <laughs> throwing a whole show together in front of 150 people. Never done it before. Not even getting rehearsal. We're on at six. Hey, I was practicing on the bus, dude. Yeah, okay, man. I was practicing the whole time on Andy, the bus, man. But yeah. literally, man, like as soon as the set is done, we have to pack up and go right to Poppy's. Let's go. Let's do it. Just one added step. Oh, okay. He made it. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> had to call in the big guns over here, Andy. You had to get uh, Justin involved as well. Here's right. what it is. What are you gonna do? We got this. We got this. Richie. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Let's Cheers, do guys. it. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Andy, man. Thanks for promoting. Okay, guys, okay. we gotta go downstairs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can you hold this for a sec? You're tuned to E flat? Yes. I'm doing it in D, right? Yeah. We're gonna figure out the keys right now. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay, root 66, 66 is I'm in, in B flat. So what do you want me to write? B flat. We should have some back Keep on it. Okay, we're going? Yeah, we're going. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Good luck, man. I'm trying to read the tabs before we go up. <laughs> Um, it was always us and the Dream Boats and the Gans. Dream Boats, fantastic band, fantastic guys. On a moment's notice, they stepped up to the challenge of putting on a show tonight. So let's hear it for those guys. They're just amazing.
Okay, what's the first song? We can't do All My Love. What's a good first song? Rock and roll. Even if it's a third set or something. Um, you want to do like Oh Boy? Even? Or something? Sure, Oh Boy. Yeah? No, 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 no. What can we do? Just kick ass. Yeah, kick I know. Ass. Yo, come, come on, on, let's go. go. That's not even in it right now. Wait, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. You know yeah. that? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's go. Have Kate help falling in love acoustic ready on deck. Because I got two <laughs> <laughs> that. Nice ears. Okay, yeah. let's do boys. Let's have a good gig. <laughs> no, come on, let's go. This shot of tequila. So I'm gonna just cheers you all right now. Yeah! Much needed. Cheers, everyone. Oh, Thank you so much. I got two shots somehow. Chris, you wanna split this with me? Uh, hello, Joseph. <laughs> I have an announcement to make. Yeah? There's tequila coming to the stage oh. right now, so... Okay, we got some tequila. Definitely the drinks were flowing and the crowd was really trying to fuel us up in more ways than one. If we start shitting the bed a little later on, just blame these guys right here, okay? He said, where were you on the night of July 19, 1953, Steve? I was a home just a... And it just felt like the shots kept coming and coming. I don't know who was buying them, but they kept arriving. And the more shots we had, just the more crazier the show got. Hopefully we get back here again sooner than later. It's always a great time here at Papi and Harry. It's, it's been a long day, haven't had a moment, but I'm just looking forward to just relaxing, getting home, having a shower and just going to sleep and then having the next couple of days to just kind of relax. Even though I can't relax tomorrow, I'm going to be recording with Justin all day. But <laughs> other than that, Sunday looks like it's got some you know time for me to hang out, but it was, it was a good one. Thank you for asking. Nice. Yeah. So we survived that epic day. Andy killed it. It's always a blast playing with Andy. He brings so much energy. He gets the music, he gets the era. He grew up on that stuff. So Andy is just a pleasure and he brings a nice energy to the band on and off the stage. So we have a few days off right now, but we're getting right back to it. We have six shows in seven days. It's going to be crazy. Ultimately, these are going to be Justin's final shows with the band. Justin's going to be packing up his car and making his way back up to Canada indefinitely. His dad's come down to help him, and uh, it's a little, it's a little bit of a bittersweet feeling. You and I in sunny California, California. With the top view back, driving down the coast.
trunk is uh, almost full here. I'm gonna move into the next part and that's where it's gonna get tricky. Stuff's gonna be up on the windowsills and all that kind of shit, but trunk almost full. Ready for the trek? Ask if I left some room for you in the car. How else did we leave Justin any room? <laughs> we could always tie him to the roof. Well, the seat. There you go, Pretty that cool. joke. Make, make him wear goggles. The he apple doesn't do... fall far from the tree. <laughs> he can do some roof surfing. <laughs> We'll get you back here though. I know you're gonna be coming to California. You're gonna For come sure. over and some yucca bowl going. Of course. It's not the end of yucca unless they close down. Justin! Okay, buddy. Easy. Love you, buddy. All the best, man. Honestly, all the best. Get you guys too. Honestly, it was I, I couldn't have asked for anything more out of the circumstances of someone to come up and like literally like just supposed to be here for just what I was expecting a short time and just coming here and like literally like transforming this band, bringing it to the next level, setting the bar, and just like you know what I mean? Just staying here for such a far too long. Time, <laughs> far too long, man. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, man. Anyways, just man, all the best. All right, yeah, we'll see I'll back catch you again. soon for okay. sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll rock out again. We'll do it. Okay. Absolutely, cool. man. Woo! All right. Before I get all sentimental. <laughs> see you soon. Hey, buddy. Yeah. All right. Okay, Justin. My trunk is being yeah, I think it's closed. Oh. <laughs> Easy peasy. There's a, there's a new tradition. It started with Nick. I'll carry it on. All right. So is this it? <laughs> yes. There it is. All there right, buddy. Is just, man. Like, All the best, dude. Dude, how are you? I appreciate yeah. the year, man. Yeah, same here. It was fucking great. We so dramatic it. with the music. We didn't we didn't die. <laughs> yeah. We didn't die, man. Keep kicking, man. We'll I'm get sure you, I'll see you guys we'll soon get enough. You down here. A Rock, it, Justin, in here, buddy. Yeah, pleasure working with you, buddy. All the best. Hundred percent. Johnny Wiz. Safe drive. All right, buddy. Yeah, guys. Back. I feel like I'm an Apollo astronaut squeezing in here. <laughs> oh, for real, I don't even know how I'm getting in the seat. Woohoo! Esta la That's that. That's that. <laughs> I'm emotional, man. I don't get choked up too much. Justin was uh, with us through thick and thin. A um, lot of a lot of the downs, you know. So it was good. It's good having him. It's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm like this right now. Oh, it's, a, it's an emotional moment, man. A little bit. Uh, we decide to stay down here and it's sad that he's like going, he's not gonna be part of this during the summertime. I'm hoping that we can take back with him in, in, in the fall. Like, it feels like it all came kind of quickly, you know? It was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go home for a bit. Then it turned into like, I'm going home. You know, I'm just I'm just keeping my eyes forward and just my my head forward, just trucking along, not making it feel like it's a hiccup or anything like that per se. Of course, it kind of sucks trying to bring players up to up to speed and whatever that entails. It's just another part of the of the process, another chapter, I guess you can say. Yeah, it was good having him. Good guy to live with. Um, you know, kept things tidy. Voice of reason in many ways. You know. Killer bass player, definitely, definitely a killer musician. Really helped us uh, raise the bar. Yeah, so that's it. Gush, Justin, man, we love you. Thank you. See you soon.